Oh. Look, I step out of my house with Minnie and you, and you throw my house into a disco hall. No, sir. Where did you get that from? I brought it from a neighbor, sir. You would even want things from the... Look, bring it. Bring it. Step back, you be fond of you. Get out of your mind. Where's my wife? She went to do her hair, sir. You went to do her hair and you're dressed up like that? Don't you have anything decent to wear in this house? I have, sir. Get out of here. Go and get changed. Wear something decent in my house always. If I catch you dressed up like this again, believe me, that would be the last time I want you in this house. Now get out. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, please don't tell me now. Get yourself from here. Go delete yourself. I'm going to appear in that room and change. Okay. <laughs> change. What did she do? God, my house is happening. Look at this small demon. One is a buck like this one turns out to be, to, to be a striptease bro. What the hell is happening here? Where does she get this kind of people from? Um, well, from the tests conducted so far, um, there's no doubt that you and your wife are perfectly all right. Well, that's reassuring, Doctor, but um, how do you explain the recent miscarriages? She's had two um, in the early stages of pregnancy, and um, recently she's not been able to conceive despite my efforts. Um, that could actually be the problem. Uh, you know, early miscarriages are induced. You know, it could be tension and anxiety. So why don't you both try to ease the tension, you know. Perhaps you work too hard. You know, so try and take things easy. I'm sure everything will be alright. Well, on that score, Doctor, you're right. My wife and I are extremely hard working and um, I think we live in a very tension filled environment constantly. So you see, uh, I do need to tell you that uh, you must uh, calm down. You know, uh, there's no problem. Actually, your cases are very easy. Just one year. I've seen cases of uh, 10 years and above who eventually bear children and live happily. So there's nothing to worry about, actually. You're okay. Thank you, Doctor. It's my job. I will run along now, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Right. Just uh, don't allow anything. To stop. How are you? Bye. All right, all Said, get out. The madam never come back. I'm aware of that. And get out. I'm gonna leave me and you the house. Okay, you don't like me. Don't you want to tell me what she has done? Lulu has been a nice girl. She takes good care of the house, does the laundry. I, mean, I can't just send her packing like that. Hey, you, have to, you have to really trust me, Fizzo. That girl has to leave first thing tomorrow morning. I know what I'm saying. I don't understand you. We should be able to have confidence in each other. But then have confidence in my judgment. Some truths are better than told. At 
Peter has to leave this house. Just trust me. Okay, maybe I'll tell you later, but not now. Okay? Well, if, if that is what you want. Look, no more house calls for now. Let's just manage on our own, okay? I know what I'm saying. Okay? Okay. that you wanted to eat. What's that supposed to mean? I should write a special application letter to you before I will eat in my brother's house? That's not what I mean. Since I'm at home, you should have told me that you wanted to eat instead of coming to take soup from my pot of soup. Your soup pot? The soup you cooked with my brother's money? Eh? I should beg you first before I will eat. You are not serious. Ever since I came into this house, your body has been peppering you, eh, Rachel? Leave my kitchen. Don't insult me, oh. I should leave my brother's kitchen. Before that will happen, Rachel, you will leave this house. You will leave this house. Are you talking to me like that, Mama? After all, what do you have to show in all the things you've been enjoying here? What is happening? What is all this shop? It's Rachel's side to leave your house for you. Why? I don't know. There's nothing she has not told me. There's nothing she has not told me. That I came to steal food in her house all because I want to eat. But she couldn't have said that to you. That's not true. So, but I'm lying. Hey, you are taking side with your wife against me, isn't it? Now I know that she's really the husband in this house. My friend, will you shut up? Are you out of your mind? Who are you talking to? What really happened? I only told her that since she wanted to eat, she should have told me instead of coming to take soup from my pot of soup. What is wrong with that? So why didn't you ask her? Isn't that proper? Short, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this house for you and your husband. Look, it's okay, all right? Just put the food back. When she's hungry, she'll come to the cooker room. Married to your wife. Uh -uh. Say what the problem she has because, because of food, brother. Food. Your wife wants to come in your house. No. But I imagine I came to eat in my brother's house. I came since yesterday, I've not eaten. No. And when I went to the kitchen to collect food, the wife wants to kill me because of food. She didn't I'm want to going. kill me. You should ask her before you go to, to a port. It's, it's a normal thing. Don't you ask my mom who want to go to the port. Uh, leave your going. Okay, come, let me drop you. Yes, sir. Some guy. I just don't know. I'm used to her craziness. There's no other ranting that's actually upsetting me. The point is that she will go home now and actually paint an entirely different version from what happened. But you see, I have always warned you. You give your wife too much liberty in your house. Your sister mustn't be a saint. As a young girl, Ready to go, accommodate her and your wife. That's it. Well, my wife was doing the proper thing. She should ask her if she wants to go to her kitchen. Oh, the right thing. How would you know she was wrong? The way both of you live, it's obvious that your wife is in charge. Don't you know when you give women such freedom, they ride you like a horse? Look at my wife. She is very submissive. Because she knows that I am in charge. She dares not try any nonsense between my mother, my brothers, and my sisters. Look, 
I don't know. I only know that marriage should be based on mutual trust, understanding, love, and above all respect. That does not stop you from being a man. Be a man, Charles. Don't allow any woman put asunder you and your family. After all, she was not there when they suffered to bring you up. That will be our company's chief accountant. I understand. I'll be our company's chief accountant. Look, don't you know you're a mad woman, Rachel? So wait, you allow a man to bring you into your matrimonial home. Don't you have any shame? For Christ's sake, Charles. Mr. Obi volunteered to drop me. Since I couldn't go to the office with my own car, what's wrong with that? Don't you have female colleagues that can drop me? I've been to your office. I saw a lot of women with cars. No, no, it has to be Mr. Obi, the accountant. What's the big deal? So you won't gallivant all over town with another man, eh? Charles! What are you insinuating? Are you accusing me of cheating on you? God knows my answer are clean. I'm not insinuating anything. Your conscience is judging me. Only you know where you're coming from. Only you know. Charles, how could you say this? Look at the problem she caused between my family and I, just because she can't pay for us little excesses. But you already told me Fama was at fault in all that happened. I know all that. But Rachel should try and be a little bit more submissive. Why can't she be as submissive as other wives? So, this is what this whole thing is all about. Oh, come on. You disappoint me, Charles. Uh, haven't I told you never to compare your wife with any other woman? Haven't I? It is obvious that you listen to stupid advice from Arthur. Now tell me sincerely. Are you happier now with the way things are between you and your wife? Are you? You see? You see what I mean?
You don't you see my note that said, wake me up 7 a.m. sharp? Of course I woke you up. Didn't you see my own note too? Wake up. It's past 7. What kind of note is this? How loud? Don't you ever give me. Sorry for keeping manners for so long. I missed you. I missed you too. Oh. <laughs> Thin hair after graduation. No contact at all. Ah, oh, Fina, that was very bad of you. I'm sorry, my dear. Now, for that God's carrying me go. Ah, yeah. But I'm now back to Lagos, live and direct. Hey, my God. So good to see you again. Yeah, my dear, I heard Eileen is now married and stays in London with her husband. Yes, yeah, so she got married to James at last. My God. Hey, she's so lucky. See, we went a married husband now. Hey. Uh, God will provide. Amen. Hey, hey, what happened to that guy, Ade? The guy that wanted to marry you. That one, that turned me into a punching bag. Me, I left him, or I left him before you'd serve yourself. Me, I know that the Lord that I'm serving will surely give me my own husband at the right time. Me, I know he'll surely do it for me in Jesus' name. Eh? I you. Now, oh, wow. Eh? Look at you. Ah! Marriage really suits you. I have you, my sister. I thank God. But it's not been easy at hey. all. You married people, you always complain, and yet you blossom and glow in your matrimonial homes. You don't understand, Fina. Look at me. Two years of marriage, no issue. Only miscarriages. Oh, yeah. I hope Charles is not stressing you about it. You know how men are. One moment, he's nice and understanding. The next one, he's something else. What you want to come better now? Now make person remain spinster, I mean make person marry. Wahala everywhere. There's something you need to know urgently. Say it about yours. You see, I've always liked you. I couldn't prevent you from the trap you're into now. You were so much in love with Rachel. And I didn't want to hurt you. Look, I'm relatively lost. Um, what are you talking about? It's going to be very difficult. Why don't you just say it? Okay. Okay. Alright. Do you know why your wife cannot give you a child? What rubbish are you talking about? There's a deep secret she's keeping away from you. Do you know anything about my wife? Ah, uh, 
Ah, uh, <laughs> we're schoolmates. We went to the same school together. I knew everything about her. Um, I can't tell you more than this. You ask her, I'm sure she will tell you. She will fill you with the rest. Mm -hmm. There's a deep secret. She should be able to tell you. Just ask her, she will tell you. Thank you. Exactly what I'm talking about. You deceived me into this marriage, knowing damn well you're not capable of having kids. Charles, how can you make such an accusation against me? Then tell me the truth. What are you hiding from me? Why can't you give me a child? I am not hiding anything from you, and you know it. The doctor says I'm all right. What else do you want to hear from me? Tell the doctors. What did they know? You've had two years of childlessness. Two wasted years. What is the secret you're keeping from me? Tell me. Like doing this to me. Who's <laughs> been feeding you with lies against me? But nobody's done with lies. And those crocodile tails you don't impress me now. What's wrong with your womb? Nothing is wrong with my womb! Oh yes, you did! You did something with your womb, you think I'll find out? First, let's go to my bedroom so that you can relax, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, baby boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, let's uh -huh. go. You will go home, uh -huh. but first, just go and relax with me. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Sweet boy. <laughs> <laughs> just 
Sleeping in the guest room. Well, since you refuse to tell me what blocked your womb, I don't think it's proper we share this in bed anymore. You don't know what that accusation has done to my feelings. Well, it's the same feeling I have. Been having a child for two years. Now please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Come off it, Charlie. You know it's not your wife I've come to see. I've come to see you. Get out. Too bad. You can no longer push me out of your life, you know. <laughs> you are now part of me, and I am part of you. Here is the result of a little fun together. Come on, Mary. Aren't you happy? At least you're going to have a baby. It's long for it. <laughs> and I'll give it to you, honey. I'm so glad. <laughs> anyway, let me give you some time to digest the news. And I can call you later so that we can discuss it, honey. Okay? <laughs>
Just. Think this of me. You think I ruin my family, huh? For goodness sake, I'm not trying to blackmail your opinion town. For goodness sake, I'm pregnant for you. So the sooner you go and find the father of that bastard, you're carrying the pet of me. I'm not carrying a bastard, I'm carrying your child. I mean, you, I mean, you should you should be happy that you you, you 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 become a father. This shows that you're a man. Look, I love my wife. Don't you get into your thick skull? You, you can't separate my wife and I. Okay? Now this is nothing. Any opportunist like you can walk into a hospital and bribe a doctor and come up with a pregnancy with her. You well know I'm not the father of that child. Charles, can't you see that Rachel is the problem? I'm pregnant for you. Why, why would I, for goodness sake? You are the problem. You are the homebreaker. And believe me, I'm going to fight you to the very last. You will not break my family. Don't even complain to me. Stand where you are. You understand me? Don't even think about it. And when you're done playing all your skimish games, I just feel you to keep us up on it to tell you that you feel. So we are to forgive us. Carry on with our lives, please. I'm sorry. What is there to forgive, Charles? I should forgive the fact that one useless woman out there is carrying your pregnancy. I should forgive the fact that the woman was most my friend. Put me. You will not break up my family. 
Now get out of here or I'm telling you I'll kill you. Kill me! I'm ready to die now. Don't leave me in space. Just sit down. Came back looking haggard, dejected, and dismayed. Is 
that a sign of love, Charles? Is that a sign of love? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how I got myself into this mess. Look at you begging for forgiveness. When another woman is carrying your baby, she tricked me. I, I'll make it up to her. I love, I love Rachel. Please, just give me another chance. Please. Charles, if someone had told me that you would treat my daughter the way you did, I would not have believed it. I'm sorry, man. Sorry? Sorry, you say? Let me tell you something. My daughter is going to have a baby. You and your family cannot disgrace her forever. Except my God is asleep. Please, Mama, my niece, please forgive me. I, I, I love my wife. I just want to say, her. give me another. Please day. shut up! How dare you come here to say a word that you know nothing about? How dare you? Now get out! Out of my house now! Charles, out! No, sir. Can you imagine that? Warm yourself into his heart. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sweet Put this ready. Put this ready. Charlie, you heard what she said. Put this ready. Eat something before you. Mama, stop scheming. You know me too well. All this will not work. The only thing that will work is for her to get out of this house before I get back from work. Otherwise. Charlie. Work out. Just keep pressing. He will not resist for too long. Hmm? Just keep, keep pressing. Don't let it discourage you. Just wrong with you. Just back back to me. Why have you not come to me? When you and your husband's brother sat in the village and took a decision to destabilize your son's family. Did you remember me? Now that you have chased him out, you expect me to go and perform. Willie, why are you talking like this? Is it wrong for me to ask for my son going to claim his child? Any woman who can betray her best friend like that girl cannot make a good wife. Then let his good wife give me a grandchild. I don't like the way you're talking. Anyway, it's all Chas's fault. If he had behaved himself like a responsible married man, he wouldn't have been a fugitive in his own house. Really, please. If you know where my son is, tell me. How can he just run away from his house like that? Eh? How can my son abandon me like that? Why? Is it a crime for me to have asked for a grandchild? Is it? It is not a crime. But you and I know the traditional way of claiming such a child if you want to. But I will not support you imposing that girl on Charles as a second wife. For God's sake, he's con you see that, that, that girl's continuous presence in that house can only complicate issues for Charles and his wife. Okay. I will go. But please help me look for my son. I don't want anything to happen to him. Please. Will you please help me? Well, I don't think anything has happened to him. So don't just bother. Don't worry yourself. 
I'm sure he's fine with it, but he'll be his. Okay? I stayed long enough in this house. And Rufina, the owners of the house have abandoned us. I don't want to die of hunger in Lagos. Let me go back to the village and face my little business. Hmm? Mama, what will happen to me and my baby? Oh, go back to your mother. Stay with her. When things improve, we'll come back for you. Hmm? Mama. 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 You're leaving too? Yes, sir, I have to leave. Let me go back to the village. Let me join my mom. <laughs> this is your husband's house. I just have to stay and wait for him. Yes. Let me go away from the village. Okay? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. I regret what I did. I'm sorry. You I'm... know, you're really lucky that her father is not in here to meet you. I don't think he would have appreciated your presence. It's only God that can save our young girls from men like you. Rubbish. I actually had to go in there to get it out. So it was, it was a result, sir. Uh, why don't you sit down? I'll find why I am, doctor. Just give me the result, sir. 
Well, the test result shows that uh, you are actually the owner of the pregnancy. <laughs> oh, doctor, thank you very much. We're really happy about it. Uh, well, I have an emergency to attend to. You please excuse me. And um, please close the door when you are leaving. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. He's so happy. I'm so happy. And like I said, I'll accept the baby. From now on, was you get a, a weekly upkeep of some sort, keeping the baby going. After you had him, how hard? I firmly claim it. I don't want you to ever come near me again. Some stuff. Are you okay? I'm fine, my mom. You're sure? Okay. When uh, your father said, Go, Rachel! Coach! Uh, Rachel! Come on, Rachel! Talk to me, it's mama. Are you okay, Rachel? Oh my god! Oh! Zachary! Zachary! Somebody help me! Neighbors, please! So, Rachel, please talk to me, it's mama, baby. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> Rachel! Rachel, it's mama. Just listen to me, okay? Look at me. All this while that you were pregnant, and you didn't even tell anybody. The day I knew was the same day I found Fina's pregnancy test result. But Rachel, you should have at least told me. I mean, look at this. What if you had lost the baby? What is the use, Mama? Another woman is carrying his child. He doesn't love me anymore. How can my child share the same father with another woman's child? Rachel, <laughs> you just have to listen to me, okay? It will be alright. But you have to tell him. You're his wife and not the other woman. I'm confused. I don't know anything anymore. Just come on, baby. It's alright. Okay, just take it easy, okay? Things will work. Mr. Would you? I am sure if you had a daughter going through such experience, you would feel as bad as I am. I am angry. I am not happy. You're right, Mr. Oji. You have cause to be angry. I insisted on your presence because I know the role you played in trying to ensure my daughter's happiness with the husband. When my daughter first introduced her nephew to me, I saw a bit of foolishness in him, but I saw some sparks of love in his eyes. So that was why I allowed him to marry my daughter in the first place. Was I wrong in my judgment? Come on, Mr. J, you're not wrong. You're not. You see, what Charles did is condemnable, but it can't be undone. These young men these days. Huh? Please. Forgive him. Please. Please. Uh, Charles. For how long have you waited for a child from your wife? About two years. Two years? Yes. And you feel that is too long a time for you to wait? Look at yourself. Now take a good look at your wife. She could have lost this baby because of the pains and frustrations you caused her. 
You see, Charles, you don't ever force the hand of God. I, I didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know. I didn't know she was pregnant. God, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Evil, we just keep on tolerating them, you know. Ah, uh, yeah, how can a man do? <laughs> we need them. But come, Steve, listen, listen, listen. Uh huh, Siva. If she wants to go beyond her boundary, just shake her, carry her, shake her, come back to position. Yeah, man, be in charge, be in charge. But wait, man, wait, man. Yeah, man. Go shake it. Go shake it. Yes. Please, uh, after going to your reverse. Fanny. Yeah? What is the okay. meaning of this? Uh, I'll meet you then. No shake it. I said, what is the meaning of this rubbish? This is your letter of resignation. That means you don't work there anymore. Why? <clears throat> Did I tell you I want to stop working? Um. I thought as your husband, um, the job is beginning to get into your head. So I thought you should resign because you buy a car, you do this, you do things the way you want to do them, and uh, you forget that you're a housewife that has plenty of work to do at home. So I thought that Tell you me, stop that work. You have ruined my life enough. I will not sit down here and watch you ruin my life for me. The only thing that gives me joy, Femi, you have taken it away. I will not sit down here and watch you do that. If you know how you did this, go back to my office, take your stupid ass back there, and go and do it. Hey! Me. Femi. Adeyinka. Adekunle. Hey! You. I hear me. Stupid ass. I said you, stupid ass! Don't even look, Femi. Don't think about it, Femi. Don't think about it, Femi. Don't think about it. Femi.
You have been with me. Now I've come from Mugo. From Mugo? Yes. But I thought that's a little early. It's supposed to be her childbirth. And um, it's supposed to be her mother that will for you. I know all that. I know. I'm also her mother. Isn't it? I'm also your mother. Hey! Look, your mother can join me. It's all the same thing. I just want to be here when my first grandchild will be delivered. Eh? Hey! You have been I me. So, um, how's the former and the home people? Hmm, they are fine. The former has a suit on now. Really? Uh, one man from Cameroon. Cameroon? Uh-huh. As if you don't know your sister. Does she behave like other people? You when you see her, you will talk with her. Well, it doesn't really matter where the man is from. As far as they love each other. <laughs> well, I think I'm really too far. Tani, it's not the former's case that brought me here. This is what brought me here. And I'm here. Nene. Nene. So how's the baby and the mother? <clears throat> Mr. Curry, we did try our best, but we lost the mother. She lost too much blood. She actually did put up a fight, but the pains were just too much for her. The baby is all right. She's doing fine. Phyllis dead. I'm very sorry. She's dead. Can I see the baby? Oh, sure. Let's go. Fina is dead. Fina is what? She's dead. How? When? What, what happened? She died at childbirth. I was at the hospital. The baby survived. Oh my god. She's at the hospital and I don't know what to do now. Fina is dead! Fina is dead! Oh, oh god!
Congratulations, <laughs> It's a baby boy. Wow! Oh, How's my wife doing? Okay. She's alright. She's thank perfect. God. Thank God. Thank God. Wow. <laughs> Take it, doctor. You don't know how to live right now. Can I see them? <laughs> no, no, no. Can I see them? Okay, okay, process will not be complete if you don't take her along. Okay, um, I just want to ask you to find somewhere in your heart to love her like her own son too. My father recently told me that anger has its limit. I intend to release my heart and allow it to find its freedom. I should also take part of the blame for allowing such a character like Fina to come close to me. I believe we both learned our lessons. I love you, Charles. Oh, my God. 